Showers this morning. We had severe weather. I showed you that earlier overnight in northern and northeastern Oklahoma. This storm system is pressing to the southeast and it is going to take the severe weather threat with it. But folks in southeastern Oklahoma, you need to be plugged in today and stay weather aware. See the system quickly coming through the northwest. That is going to impact us tomorrow into tomorrow night. And yes, two days. Parts of Oklahoma definitely need to be weather aware. Currently on Next Gen Live, no severe weather. A good thunderstorm off to the east some scattered showers about there is some light rain in north central Oklahoma, but most of that's just evaporating. It's not reaching the ground because dry air has moved in with this front. The front is currently really creeping to the southeast ahead of it. Ardmore Durant in the low 70s versus cloudy and 50s in the metro 40s in the panhandle where you had 30s earlier this morning. North winds are gusting 15 25 some gusts to 30 in the southwest. Now winds will eventually relax in central Oklahoma and points to the north heading into the afternoon and evening. They'll be light and really it'll be kind of a nice day. Skies will clear out. We'll have 70s low humidity. It looks good. That's not the case further to the south where we'll be in the 80s today. Very warm, very unstable, and this is the area we've got to monitor closely later today where a few isolated supercells will try to develop, and those could pose a risk for large hail, damaging winds, and there is a tornado threat as well from McAllister to Atoka, back down to Hevener, and back over towards Poto. The rest of the state today, we're more stable, but watch instability. This is just one of the ingredients ingredients you need for severe weather. We will have several of the ingredients coming together tomorrow. One thing will be lacking and we'll talk about that. Instability though, fuel for storms, it is high in the southeast today and then tonight our next storm approaches and that lifts a warm front in from the south, pulls up Gulf moisture and look at your legend. Our instability tomorrow is moderate to high, which means if a storm were to form tomorrow and you can see the dry line behind it, no chance of rain or storms tomorrow, but ahead of that, we will have a very thick air mass in place, highest instability of the season. And if a storm were to develop, it would explode rapidly. It would likely grow what we call cyclonically sheared, meaning it'll go up spinning and could produce large hail and damaging winds. And we'd have to watch it for a tornado. The system with the energy for it is still a long way away over the northwest. But as it gets closer tonight, here comes the warm front. No storms overnight. We warm up though and quickly tomorrow, 80s and 90s, mid upper 90s out west. And I want to point out it is a high to extreme fire danger day tomorrow with desert like air, hot conditions do not burn out west. Now ahead of the dry line, there's where all the Gulf moisture will be. Large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes possible between 3 and 11. But here's the key. The cap is strong tomorrow. There's a lid in the atmosphere that we've got to watch. Sometimes that can mean once storms form, they actually grow even quicker if the cap is strong. But the chances for most locations are 20% or so tomorrow. Very isolated chances. But any cloud that starts to billow on up, our trackers will swarm. We will watch closely because these storms can get out of hand very quickly. Slightly higher chance of breaking the cap and more storms for a little further to the south. Now the potential is there if a storm forms between 4 and 11 for a low to a moderate threat for or tornadoes and that would include all points ahead of the dry line and then as we go through the day we'll all have the threat for hail as well with each of those storms quarter golf ball could even have a few storms if they form produce up to baseball size hail that's how explosive the system and the setup is for your Tuesday wind threat is there as well 65 to 75 mile an hour winds and if these storms really get to go in tomorrow could produce winds even higher than that that's during the day and to the evening and then tomorrow into the overnight the dry line makes its way into eastern Oklahoma the cold front swings in and we'll have a chance for storms off towards the east that we'll have to monitor 20% chance of storms in the metro coming up tomorrow night into early Wednesday now our team of trackers are geared up ready to go today they'll be out tomorrow I think we're going to see a lot of sunshine tomorrow it'll be a warm windy day and then we'll have to watch very closely for any development but again the chance is at about 20% in into your Wednesday chances early then we turn cooler warming it up into Saturday may have more storms Saturday afternoon nice for Easter Sunday than a strong cold front arrives guys chilly to start next week back to you